Well, folks, I'm going to really get down and get goddamn drastic on this crap. If you go back to my video a couple of weeks ago, I think I was probably about the first uh, half-ass expert in the world that said Putin's and Russia's main objective was the south and the east of Ukraine, not to invade the whole damn country. The operation up north and the northeast was to take care of the main forces up there. So Valensky would try to protect his ass. Like I said, two weeks ago or more, I told the world what Putin was doing. He wanted the south. The Russians there, they have been screwed over for so damn many years. And the world neglected to even look into it. Matter of fact, I think uh, NATO and the USA even helped support the goddamn people in the South fighting the Russians. <sighs> Ukrainians, like I say, they've been... That's one corrupt goddamn country. I don't know why in the hell we can't get things squared away unless the USA and NATO have a reason to protect them overgrown, corrupt. <sighs> like I say, they've been crucifying the Russians down south for one hell of a lot of years. Just study the history, man. Study the history. I cannot understand why Putin has even been so damn nice as he is to Ukraine. I really expected it to be over because I I knew he was going to go soft and quiet and try to keep down casualties to a minimum. But this goddamn world we're in, I tell you, in our own country, USA, my God, All this goddamn money and shit is doing nothing but help the warmongers around the world. And a lot of them are right here in the United States of America. I, I figured it'd be over by 10th. Uh, I even figured Valensky and the USA and everything would shit say, just settle. Let's work out something later on. But they're not. They're determined to... Uh, keep this goddamn thing going on for as long as they can, and they really don't give a shit how many young soldiers, which are basically civilians under military law, and damn idiots picking up guns. Can't blame no people. If you're in the military, you go to jail or get executed if you refuse to fight. Civilians don't know any better. They just listen to the powers to be. And my goodness, can you imagine how it would have been if uh, it would have just been over in the first week? But anyway, folks, study the history on uh, Russians in the south, southern part of Ukraine and how the Ukrainian government... <coughs> And the other groups. What do they call them? Neo-Nazis? Yeah, most likely. That's Ukraine for you. That's Ukraine, people. That's where we're spending all our billions of dollars for. Good old Ukraine. Well, that's probably wrong on my 10 days because tomorrow will be 10 days. I figure it'd be over with. But uh, I guess not, folks. The USA just can't seem to... I should say not the USA. It's the lousy politicians. We as citizens have very little to say about it. We're just paying for it. We're paying for the high prices, the inflation. The whole damn world is paying for that. And that's a sad part. 
The powers to be never get hurt. They never pay. It's always the damn little people of the world, the hard-working, suffering people of the world. We die for it, blood and guts, and they bleed us out of our hard-earned money. Good luck, folks. I don't know how much longer this crap I can even put up with.